Hey, what's going on, dudes? I just wanted to do a quick little video and show you guys uh, what some wheel adapters look like on my uh, IS300. Uh, just in case uh, you have an IS300 and you're kind of wondering what some wheel adapters will look like uh, on your car. Um, basically, I'm running the factory wheels. Car is lowered on BC coilovers. It has Hotchkiss uh, sway bars, BC coilovers. It's lowered. But I don't have it slammed or anything like that. And I went ahead and uh, went with some uh, 25 millimeter wheel adapters, or one inch for the front and the rear, uh, both the same size. And I just kind of want to just show uh, what that looks like with a very, very, very mild drop. It's not slammed. It's not. It's not tucking tires. It's just real livable right now. Um, I'm just gonna finish up uh, pulling this uh, fender out a little bit. I've actually pulled and rolled. All of them except this one. I've been cruising around uh, for, I don't know, six months like this and just decided to go ahead and make this video. And it's like, you know, while I was pulling the fenders, I was like, man, I'll go ahead and do a little little video for the guys out there that um, maybe was thinking about pulling the wheels out on their car a little bit. Um, you know, I got no money, so I haven't been able to buy any rims or anything like that. Maybe you're in the same scenario as me. And I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. I'm just about to show you the wheel adapter. Uh, they are, you know, aluminum. They are hub, hub centric. Um, five by one one four point three, and uh, yeah, they uh, they went on real nice. Um, they fit on real nice. So uh, whenever you go to put them on, just make sure you torque them and uh, use a little bit of Loctite and make sure the uh, the rotor is actually pretty clean before you stick them on there because you don't want them to wobble or come off or anything like that. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description box. For these guys so you can see how much they cost and see where i got them at and get all the specs and things like that yeah so these are the adapters they're real nice and again i've been running for at least six months no issues no problems so put the wheel back on i'll show you what the car looks like all right so here's what the back looks like again i did roll the fenders in the back and then the front the front's more of a pull than a roll but uh yeah, the car is it's lowered, but it's not slammed. Factory wheels, uh, some 215. Shit, I don't remember what size tires are, but they're small. And uh, factory rims, you know, they're just painted black. But as far as the fit goes, they look a lot better. Without them, it all kind of, with the camber, the added camber, it just looks real ghetto, I think. So to be able to bring the wheels out, actually makes it look a whole lot better a whole lot better That's an angle of what it looks like in the front right there. hopefully this comes out good I don't know same thing in the front so I just pulled out the front a little bit but definitely makes it look a lot better and that's just one inch Definitely. For factory wheels, it makes it look a whole lot better. And again, these rollers, they used to be really expensive. Man, they've gone so cheap now. Anybody can pretty much buy them. You used to have to like borrow them from everybody and like rent them and stuff. Now you can just buy your own and roll them. It's a pretty easy process to roll them. You just heat the fenders up, attach them to the hubs and just crank away at it nice and slow. But yeah. One inch is where it's at. I mean, you could try to do a little bit more. If I was to lower the car a little bit more, you would definitely get in there. You could use another, I don't know, five millimeters maybe. I don't know, it depends on how much fitment you want to try to do with factory wheels. I think if the car was lowered a little more, it would be 
be pretty flush. That's what you call it, a flush setup. I don't know too much about wheel fitment, but I just want it to look better. All right, well, that's my uh, IS300. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. hope it helps you out uh, figuring out, you know, if you want to try to make your factory wheels look a little better on your car. Um, I'll leave links down in the description box again for the wheel adapter so you can check out all the specs, see if they're made out of, how much they cost, or I bought them at. All that will be down there. Um, if you have any questions, you can just hit me up down in the comment box. And uh, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up if you like the video, or thumbs down if you hate the video. And that's about all I got to say. You guys take care, be safe, have a great weekend. Later.